Hey guys, how y'all doing? Want to make a video, let's see, talking about my experience so far staying at RV parks. Um, I consider myself a rookie still at this point. This is my second park that I've stayed at. <laughs> And, uh, you know, overall my experience has been really good. You know, the parks, the, the, the two parks that I have stayed at, I would, you know, classify them as uh, A parks, you know, on a range A, B, C, D, you know, uh, you know, A parks, you know, so they're, they're managed well, they're, uh, they're taking, they're taking good care of, you know, the upkeep and stuff, you know, is real good. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to, you know, trying to talk about uh, some things that I've seen and you know like I said I'm, I'm a rookie here still so I'm learning things that you know as I go about uh, you know some at, at you know at some of these parks <clears throat> um, you know it's uh, you know it's so so far it's it's been it's been really cool you know the uh, the inner internet you know connection is uh, yeah it, it's okay you know it's not uh, super fast um, I I, I can't. I, I I've been going to the library to upload these videos. The speed connection here is just not really. Uh, it's not that fast. It just takes. It takes too too long, you know, to get some videos uploaded. So I know they have uh, like boosters that you can buy. You know, Wi-Fi boosters. And I really don't know too much about this. I've watched a few videos from people that have had them and I, I don't really I don't, I don't really know you know too much about them I, I'm sure that they you know they obviously work well so I think uh, kind of looking into one of those would be would be definitely be a good thing to increase the the uh, data speed um, you know like uh, shower the showers and stuff are great uh, I don't I don't shower in, in my camper every day I go down to the, uh, the showering facility and uh and take showers and the place i'm at here they clean the showers twice a day you know once in the morning once in the afternoon and i usually uh squeak in there right after they right after they clean everything and they do a real they do a really good job of cleaning the floors and everything and you know they they uh you know desanitize the floors and you know so uh they do a real good job of cleaning it you know so <clears throat> that's that's kind of cool you know it's like I, that's just that's one less thing that you know, I have to do with my deal with my RV is, you know, if you're taking showers, you know, you've got to, you know, clean the bathrooms and wash and stuff. And, um, you know, so I don't have to deal with that. And, you know, somebody else does that and, and, uh, you know, it's all, all, all included, you know, with everything. So, uh, that part, I really, really like the, uh, the showers. Um, the other place, the, the other thing too is place I'm staying at, they've got a laundry, uh, coin laundry facility and it's like really cheap. I mean, you can do a large load of wash for like three dollars okay and that's washing the clothes and drying the clothes so i mean we're talking really cheap you know um so that part is really cool um you know let's see kind of talking about some of the incidentals a little bit you know some of the things that i've noticed you know um you know you, you don't know who could be parking next to you so that's you know that could be a good thing or, or a or not so good thing, you know, depending on, uh, you know, if they, if your neighbors, uh, you know, you guys click. So, um, one thing I noticed, uh, that, you know, I didn't really think about was, um, you know, smoking. Um, I'm a non-smoker myself, but if your neighbor happens to be a smoker, then, you know, there may be some, maybe some conflict for you if, if uh, the smell of smoke bothers you, you know, so that's kind of something to be thinking about. Um, let's see. And then uh, no, another thing, too, is like I've noticed and this is one thing you kind of need to be thinking about is, uh, you know, when you're selecting a campsite, <clears throat> you know, you got to be thinking, you know, if it's a dry and sunny day, you know, and say you're going to stay there for like a month or whatever, you know, when you're choosing your campsite, you know, try to find, you know, think about drainage and water and, you know, are there puddles and stuff, you know, is it, is the, uh, ground, you know, under your, under, is the, is the pad, is it, is it set up higher than the ground, you know, uh, um, on the sides, you know, so is there going to be adequate drainage or is it going to pool and puddle? 
Um, I noticed, you know, the campsite that I picked out, you know, it's been really good, but I've noticed a couple of others in the campground that uh, don't have very good drainage and, uh, you know, some of the campsites are getting a little bit flooded out, I noticed, you know, so I'm glad that I'm not in one of those sites. So that's kind of something to be thinking about when you're picking out a site in an RV park. Um, I'm, I'm talking about non-paved surfaces, so those parks, you need to be thinking about drainage, you need to be looking at, uh, you know, trees and stuff, you know, what's the overhead. I prefer no trees, um, you know, I like, I don't like crap, you know, uh, coming on top of the other of the, the canopy the roof you know so got to be thinking about that um you know one of the one of the cool things you know is like at the rv park is it's like yeah you know if you if there's another spot available well you can just move <clears throat> you know you can just you know you can just pick up your pick, pick up camp and you know move to a uh, a spot that you know is going to work better for you you know so if Maybe you and your neighbors are clashing or whatever. Well, you know, if they got another spot available, you could, you know, you could pick up and use that one. So, um, so yeah, you know, like I said, they've, uh, overall, you know, I think the, you know, the RV parks have been, uh, they're excellent, uh, uh, you know, really reasonable pricing. Um, you know, I'm able to, uh, you know, ride my bicycle into the grocery store to you know pick up incidentals and stuff like that you know so that's really cool um but you know like i said the rv parks you know the thing that the thing that's kind of you know it kind of uh i don't i don't totally like about the rv parks but it's just you know supply and demand is the price goes up in the summertime you know and, and we're talking uh you know this park i'm staying at the rates jump from 450 all the way to 600 in the summer you know, and, and, you know, for why, you know, well, and that, that price I'm, that I'm giving, that's for a 30 day stay. Okay. Which would give you the best rate, you know, per month, but, uh, prices, you know, prices go up, you know, it just, it just, it just, just, you know, depends, you know, on the, on the, on the season and stuff, you know, like this is the off season. So the prices are, are going to be less. So, but that's one of the things you're going to have to deal with if you're going to be staying in RV parks is, you know, the, the prices go up, you know, when the, when the lights go down or whatever, you know, the prices go up when the, when the season is on. So, um, so that's one thing, but, um, uh, yeah, you know, other than that, you know, just, uh, maintenance and stuff. And, and, um, but like I said, you know, you're, when you go you know, within your, your first couple minutes of pulling into an RV park, you know, you're, 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 you're going to tell right away if, uh, how the place is taken care of and maintained and, you know, in, you know, the, and, and then of course, you know, some of these RV parks have rules, um, about the age of RVs that, uh, they will allow to stay in the park. You know, some of them have rules for, they go back 10 years from today's date, you know, your RV cannot be any older than 10 years. So some of, some places have those rules, you know, so, you know, those, those can be, can be a good thing, you know, um, you know, the place I'm staying at right now, like, I think for the most part, like any, anything goes, you know, which, you know, is cool. And, you know, the people here have been like, you know, totally awesome. And I've met, met actually some really cool people like this, uh, this one, this one group of people over here, they, they have a, uh, a converted school bus and, uh, it's really cool. It's all stealth looking. They got the windows all tinted out and everything. And, uh, you know, they got a, you know, the, the their vehicle though, it's all self-contained, you know, they have, uh, all self-contained, you know, tanks and everything on it. And I met a guy here the other day. He had a had a cargo van pulling a like a you know early 1970s travel trailer, really a really really small one, you know. And you know, so you get to meet a lot of different different people. But um, but yeah, you know, RV parks, I you know definitely uh, you know some of them are require you to be self-contained, you know. So if you're thinking about going with a cargo van, you know, that's one thing that you you might you know kind of want to you know, might want to consider is that, uh, you know, RV parks may not allow you to stay there if you're not, uh, you know, you don't have self-contained. So that would mean having, uh, having a bath, you know, basically a bathroom, you know, that's the, they, you know, they typically want to, you know, make sure you have a bathroom on your, uh, on your rig. Um, you know, another thing too, I'll bring up is, uh, like this place I'm staying at right now, they have like options, you know, so like you can pay for water and electric only, or you can pay for the full hookups and you know so if I, I i'm paying for full hookups but if i didn't i would save like 50 50 bucks a month you know so um 
so yeah, you know, there's they give you uh, a lot of times. You know, you can you can just pay for exactly what it is that, that you want. You know, um, you know, which is really cool. So so yeah, if uh, if you have some other things that you would like to add.